to prepare your cape with your uh, fabric and lining you have to stay with your color stay or your hair stay or whatever thing you want to finish up and seal up and pack on the human body so after sewing this dress you'll be packing it from here to here okay but i will also demonstrate it on the dress form for you so i will set this one aside so once you are done, you'll be sewing your sleeve, the normal sleeve and the drop shoulder sleeve here. I'll be dropping the link on how to attach a sleeve on the drop shoulder sleeve. So we'll be moving ahead now to cut the uh, yoke. This is the yoke for this dress. This is the yoke for this dress. So I set the yoke aside and we want to talk about what we have on the bust here. So from here, I will cut into the bust points and from here, I will cut into... In fact, I'm going to cut everything, every that I don't need. I'm cutting them out. Okay, so we don't need those darts. And then I'm cutting what I have here. All right, so this is what we have. Okay, so I'll be naming this F1 because we are joining them together now. F2, F3. So we are joining it together to form the bust. So I want to close my bust that for each So I'm closing my bust that as you can see right here Bust that is closed right here Then I'll come in with this and close up Alright, so once our bust that is closed, the next we want to do is to cut out the parts that will be for the bust. So the parts that will be for the bust right now, as you see it right here, are these lines. You can see the lines. So I set this aside. This is my first bust here. And this... I set aside as a second bustier and this I set aside as the third bustier. So these are my bustiers. Once you merge them together and so as usual you have your cup ready. So I'm going to set them aside. Now we want to join what we have here to form the parts. So I'm going to simply cut. All right, so I just came in with a pepper right now. As you can see, and I've gummed all my pattern F1, F2, F3 pieces together. I'm going to from the center front line. In fact, let me extend the line. I'm extending the center front line for the bust. So the box effect here, I'm using 5 inches, that is the whole of what I have on the paper. So from here to here, I'll rule my line and from here to here, I'll rule my line and I'll form the bask. So simply, I'm going to cut, let me cut on... So if you are not making a corset, okay, you can actually, it's not all the time, your, uh, your bust clothes must be a corset. So if you want to make it just like a bust here, okay, this is one way you can achieve it as a bust here. Alright, so the bust part is ready. 
and now you come in with your cup so once you sew your cup you can see the cup matching into that point matching into this point let me keep it the way you see it better can you see that so by the time you sew your cups so make sure you name the cups and so in accordingly you know once you sew this part it comes up and matches up as you want and the same thing on this as well as you can see all right now this comes which is the that is how your pattern is going to look like then finally your cape runs like this like i said this cape will be prepared and kept and keep so once you are done sewing your pattern you're adding your skirt pattern the back pattern so the back pattern i want to say something about the back pattern especially the parts you have um this so you'll be using you'll be dropping it exactly like this for the back for this because you are going to join them together okay all right so that is it let me show you how the cape will be uh, tacked on the body of your plant the person you are making this dress for or on the dress form after making this dress all right so i want to show you how you are going to place um, this um, cape so after after making the dress you can decide to keep the dress or uh, put the dress on the dress form or you might decide to wear it on the body of your client okay your cape has been prepared all you need to do is to place your cape this way and under the bust can you see that that is exactly what we have on the thumbnail you place it like this and like this and you tack you can see that you can also decide to open up the side of the seam and sew if you wish okay but i will advise you tack the cape okay all right people so that is how we come to the end of this tutorial i believe you learned a lot from this tutorial so if you are new to this channel please kindly subscribe turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day like this video share to family and friends and drop your comments on the comment section and your suggestions as well thank you for coming and see you in the next one bye